In a city's museum, an expensive golden egg covered in diamonds went missing. The museum workers noticed it in the morning and, of course, they immediately reported the theft to the police. The city's best detective started investigating the case. She carefully looked through the footage and identified three main suspects. Then she saw a handprint on the glass the egg was placed behind. Take a look at these handprints and at the suspect's hands. Who is guilty? It's this person right here. Look, the prints of the fingers aren't full because something came in the way. This person is wearing rings right there, so it's their print. In a little town, someone stole an expensive silver collar for a cat covered in diamonds and precious gems. The shop's owner called the police and the investigation started. There were three suspects. Mr. Johnson said, I came to look for earrings for my daughter's birthday. We don't have any pets. Mrs. Martin said, I got a bracelet for myself. I didn't steal anything. Mrs. Tanner said, I have no idea what you're talking about. The thief is Mr. Johnson. There are cat footprints in his garden. So the family obviously has a pet. There was a robber in the city and no one could catch him for several months. After another incident, the police saw the robber entering a hospital. They walked in and ran into two doctors. Which one of them is fake and is actually the robber? It's this guy, the one who's wearing headphones instead of the stethoscope. Mrs. Stevens went on a three-month vacation, but had her workers coming regularly to maintain the house. When she returned, she realized that one of the workers was skipping quite a bit of work once in a while, going on an unplanned vacation themselves. Who was it? A gardener who takes care of the outside garden, a housekeeper who takes care of everything in the house, or a painter who is coming to paint her house. It's the housekeeper. Look, the house plants dried out. Seems like he skipped a couple of weeks of work and probably only cleaned the house right before Mrs. Stevens returned. Do you think you can figure out who the bride of this man is? It's this woman right here. Look, she has the same tattoo as this guy. A small city's police got a message that monsters silently flooded the town and now live among humans. It's not a problem, but the police decided to identify them all to keep an eye on them. Can you help the police identify in which houses the monsters live? Here's the first task. You see two houses and a vampire lives in one of them. Which one? It must be this house, the dark one where the blinds are closed on all the windows. Vampires don't like sunlight. Okay, the next task is to find the house of a mummy. Here are two possible options. Which house does the mummy live in? This one. Look, there are bandages around the house. The next creature whose residence we need to identify is a gnome. Take a look inside two houses. Can you tell where the gnome lives? Probably in this house. All furniture is smaller and placed way lower than in the other house, so it must be the residence of someone small, like a gnome. Now, we need to find the house of a centaur. Take a close look at both houses. Can you identify the one?
this one right here. See, there are horse prints on the pathways to the house. The last one. A real witch lives in one of these houses. Can you tell where you're most likely to be bewitched? Did you notice this cute black cat? That's a famous witch sidekick, so my bet is on this house. On a cold January night, Delaney was found unconscious in the cloakroom when her best friend Jane came looking for her. She was at a house party with a bunch of college students. The police interrogated several students, asking where they were around the time of the accident. Allison said, I was upstairs all the time, dancing with my friends. Liam said, I went to a kiosk to pick up some candy for my girlfriend. There were only drinks and chips. Oliver said, I was talking to a girl. She seems to like me. Who should have been taken to the police station? Liam, it's a cold night and he would need a jacket to go to a kiosk. And if he needed a jacket, he would go into the cloakroom to get it and would have found Delaney instead of Jane. So either he lied or walked past an unconscious girl. Ronan Collins, a successful businessman, went missing. His family reported it to the police. The main suspect was Ronan's business partner, Jennifer. She had been out of the city, but as soon as she returned, the police knocked on her door and asked if she knew something about Ronan's disappearance two weeks prior. I just returned from my month-long trip to the Amazon rainforest an hour ago. I haven't heard anything about it. The detective didn't believe her right away and took her to the station for further investigation. Why? From the photos, we can clearly see that Jennifer dyes her hair. She says that she just returned from her trip, which was a whole month long. But her hair is perfectly dyed. Some roots would grow out. So, she's lying at least about something. Esme was having a walk in a forest and got lost. But she found the house of a witch, walked in, petted her black cat, and asked the witch to take her home. The witch was busy operating on a frog, a rat, and a crow. She was using magical healing gloves, but she only had two pairs. So she needed Esme's help to figure it out, and then she'd take her home. How can she operate on all three animals with the two pairs of magical gloves, but remain sanitary? The witch should operate on the frog wearing the first pair of gloves over the second one. Then, she should operate on the rat using just the second pair. Finally, she should operate on the crow wearing the first gloves inside out, worn over the second glove. Detective Callum had to travel to a small neighboring city where dogs were being kidnapped every night, right out of the house. There were already four of them missing, and all of them were living on the same street. Mila was kidnapped first, then Karma the next night. After that, it was Jake, and then Mr. Sniffer. There were just three dogs left that lived on the street. Can you figure out which dog is going to be the next target? Look carefully at the dogs that were kidnapped, or actually at their collars. The first dog that was kidnapped has a red collar. Karma has an orange collar. Then Jake was wearing a yellow one and Mr. Sniffers owned a green one. Seems like they're being kidnapped in order of rainbow colors. So, the next target should be this dog, the one wearing the blue collar. Mason called the police, reporting that his metal safe box with his savings was stolen. He walked into his bedroom right in time to spot the robber throwing the safe out of the window and disappearing in the window right after. So, Mason wanted the robber caught or his insurance to pay him the money he had lost. The detective came to investigate. Did you touch anything in the room after the incident? He asked. No, I came straight to you. Then there was no robber. 
the detective concluded. Why? The robber couldn't go out of the window without stepping on the bed that was standing right by the window. But the bed is perfectly made. How is it possible if Mason didn't touch it? A hat and scarf cost $110. The hat is $100 more expensive than the scarf. How much does the scarf cost? $5. It means that the hat is $105, which is exactly $100 more than the scarf. Mia was a shop assistant on a giant cruise liner. Once, she found an expensive watch in the boutique where she worked and announced it on the radio. Soon, four people showed up in the store. Each of them claimed it was their watch. Mia looked at all of them attentively and realized who the watch belonged to. Can you figure it out too? This man does have a watch tan line, but it's much bigger than the watch Mia found. This young girl already has a watch on her left hand. Why would she wear the second one? Mm. The elderly lady must be very absent-minded. Her dog is wearing her watch as a collar. The watch must belong to the teenager. <laughs> Nick was an experienced skydiver, but one day something went wrong. A strong gust of wind brought him to the forest. The man found himself among trees with no food or water. Soon, Nick saw four roads in front of him. One led to a super massive black hole that swallowed everything that got close. The second road ended in a sea full of sharks. The third road led to a mountain that was impossible to climb over. And the fourth road ended in a bottomless abyss. Which road should Nick take? He should follow the third road. No one says he has to climb over the mountain. He can simply go around it. During which month do people sleep the least? During February, it only has 28, maximum 29 days. A man is on the run from the police after he stole three massive gold bars. 30 pounds each. At some point, he reaches a long bridge that can support only 260 pounds. The man weighs 200 pounds. How can he transport all three gold bars in one go? He has to walk across the bridge while juggling the bars. It means that at any time, only two bars will be on the bridge since the third one will always be in the air. Look attentively at these three men carrying a log. One of them is cheating. Can you figure out who it is? It's the man in the middle. For one thing, he's wearing a suit, which is a strange choice of clothing for such a task. Plus, his face is quite relaxed, and his eyes are open. It doesn't look as if carrying the lug feels like hard work for him. One evening, Emma went to take out the trash from her coffee shop. She was about to leave when she spotted something dark in the corner behind the trash bins. It was a young woman, and she was unconscious. Emma rushed to her. The girl's bag and smartphone were lying nearby on the ground. The first person on the contact list was named Big Sis. Emma called the number and heard a female voice. I found your sister lying on the ground. It seems someone hit her on the head. What? The woman was shocked and promised to come immediately. Next, Emma called the police. The sister and police officers arrived at the same time. Arrest this woman. She's behind the attack. Oh. And Emma pointed at the sister. Why did she say so? She didn't tell the sister where to come. How did she know the address? Oh. There are four cups on the counter, all of them upturned and hiding the same number of sweets underneath. Near each of the cups, there is a sign that says how many sweets are under it. The signs are five or six, seven or eight, 
6 or 7, and 7 or 5. Only one of these signs is correct. How many sweets are there under each cup? Since only one sign is correct, the right number can't appear twice. Otherwise, more than one sign will be correct. It means that there are eight sweets under each cup. Luke took part in a scientific experiment, but something went terribly wrong. He ended up in a place where there was nothing but three portals. One of them led to a polar desert in Antarctica. The second one opened into a volcanic crater filled with molten lava. And behind the third portal, there was the age of dinosaurs, with huge diplodocuses roaming around. Which portal should the man choose? Luke would freeze in no time in a polar desert. Molten lava isn't even an option. But diplodocuses are totally harmless to people. They only eat plants. Look at the picture attentively and say which of these people is left-handed. It's the waiter. It's easier for a left-handed person to hold the tray in the right hand and deal with the food and drinks with the left, dominant hand. <laughs> Detective Henry Taylor was getting ready for work when he heard screams from his neighbor's house. He rushed there. The door was locked. The man had to kick it several times before it opened. He found his neighbor, Miss Anderson, in the living room. She was tied to a chair. Oh, I'm so happy you heard me shouting. An hour ago, a man knocked on my door and said he was an electrician. But as soon as I let him in, he tied me up and took all the priceless paintings I had got from my grandfather, and then he just ran away. Hmm. Detective Taylor had to arrest the woman for staging the theft. How did he know? When he tried to get into the house, the door was latched from the inside. Who could do it if Miss Anderson was tied up and the thief supposedly ran out of the house in a hurry? You have five pieces of chain, and each of them is made up of three links. You have to make a long chain out of these five pieces. Welding an open link will cost you $3, and breaking a link open is $1. Can you make a long chain if you have only $15? First, take one piece of chain and break all of its three links open. It'll cost you $3. Then link the remaining four pieces of the chain with these open links. Welding these links will cost you another $9. In total, you'll only pay $12. In the middle of a long flight, two passengers stood up and started to threaten the crew and passengers. They demanded $1 million in a helicopter. One of the criminals had a pilot's license and could fly a copter. When the plane landed at the nearest airport, the passengers got everything they had requested. A case full of money and a helicopter. But when they got inside, they didn't manage to fly away and were captured by the police. Why couldn't they start the machine if the helicopter didn't have any technical problems? The helicopter was okay, but there was no fuel in its tank. Michael got lost when he was walking in the forest. After hours of wandering around, he finally saw a weird-looking house that seemed to be deserted. Still, the guy decided to try his luck and ask for directions. But when he entered the house, the door shut behind his back with a loud bang, and he heard a voice, You've entered my home uninvited. You won't leave it easily. Oh, no. After that, Michael found himself in a room with three doors. The voice told him that only one of those doors led to freedom. Behind the first door, there were starving wolves. The second door hid a furious werewolf. And behind the third door, there was a huge, raging campfire. Which door is safe? Michael should wait until the campfire goes out and get out of the house through the third door. Up for a logo test? I have some new ones for you to challenge your brain. Don't forget to keep your score to see how good your results are. Okay, at first, I'll be showing you two logos. One is correct, and the other is fake. You'll have to tell me which logo is the right one. Deal? Let's go then. Two, one. What about this logo of Dior?
Yes, of course, it's this one. Next up, Universal Pictures. So, what side of the globe do you see on their logo? This globe is the correct one. What about the Beatles? What's the correct logo? Right, it's this one, of course. Can you find the original Victoria's Secret logo? Here it is. I'm sure you know which Twitter it is. This one, of course. A small hint for you. It's Chicago Cubs, a baseball team. Do you know which logo is the correct one? It's the left one. A harder one for you. Can you remember Buick's logo? It's a car brand. Here it is. Good job. Moving on. Montclair, what do you pick? That's the one. What about Tog Heuer, a watch brand? That's the one on the right. Find the one and only logo of the Dallas Mavericks. It's the one on the left for sure. Sephora, which way is it supposed to be bent? That's the one. Wikimedia, we all use it, but what is the correct logo? This one. Another easy one, New England Patriots. What's the correct logo? Yes, of course, it's this one. Next up is Columbia Pictures. Which arm should be lifted? Her right arm, which is on the left when you look at her. And the correct logo is the one on the left too. Okay, this one is way harder. International Monetary Fund. Where is their logo? This one. Now, I'm going to change the task. I'll be showing you logos and you'll have to recognize them. Do you think you'll manage to guess them all? We'll see. Three, two, one. Here's the first one. We all know what WB stands for, right? Hit it. Correct, it's Warner Brothers. Okay then, any ideas about this one? Yes, that's Beats. Nothing hard yet. Moving on, another easy one for you. Do you recognize it? That's Danone, of course. That's something trickier, but still very well known. Any guesses? Marriott, a hotel chain. What do you think this leprechaun represents? That's the logo of the Boston Celtics, a basketball team. Okay, any ideas? It's Cameo, an app where celebrities can send you a shout out. What about this one? It's Bugatti. 
This one is way easier. What's this brand? It's the North Face. Okay, another one for you here. What do you say? It's Ocean Spray. Hmm, what do you think this dragon stands for? That's MSI, a Taiwanese technology corporation. Yeah, that was a tough one, sorry. SF, must be San Francisco, right? But San Francisco what exactly? It's the San Francisco 49ers, a football team. Do you think you know this one? It's Alpine, a French brand of racing cars. Any ideas here? That's Zalando. A house turned upside down. Interesting. What is it? The neighborhood, a rock band. That's a simple but cool one. Who does it belong to? Vera Wang, a fashion designer who creates wedding dresses. Do you know this logo? It's Matrix, a professional hair care brand. Does this bull ring a bell? It should, it's Chicago Bulls, a famous basketball team. Do you recognize this brand? It's Cetaphil. This isn't the simplest one either, but well, it can't all be the McDonald's logo. The game is bound to get harder, so what do you say? It's Escada, a luxury clothing brand. What about this one? It's Los Angeles Angels. They play baseball. Yeah, very interesting. A slightly stretched O. Any thoughts? It's Oakley, a company that makes sunglasses and sports equipment. What about this logo? What is it? That's Sisley, a French luxury cosmetic brand. This one's harder, what is it? It's Purina that produces cat food. Do you know this one? It's General Mills, a food manufacturer. L.A. something. Hmm, it can't be too hard. Los Angeles what? It's Los Angeles Rams, a football team. Do you have any thoughts about this one? That's Macmillan Dictionary. Any ideas about what this logo is? Evanescence, a music band. That's a very important organization. Let's see if you know it. What is it? The Global Fund. Does it ring a bell? That's Bon Jovi. What about this logo?
That's the Houston Texans, a football team. What about this logo? Fitbit. Any ideas about this one? That's Strava, an internet service that helps you track your physical activity. What about this one? It's UNESCO, an organization that promotes peace and education. So what do you think this G stands for? Green Bay Packers, an American football team from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Do you know what this logo means? It's HarperCollins, a famous book publisher. What do you think this little cutie is? That's Waze, a navigation app. Well, this one is famous. That's Philadelphia Eagles, of course. Do you know this one? It's Partners in Health, an organization that works to strengthen health systems. You have my respect if you've got it right. And now, are you ready for one more type of task? It's the hardest one. I'll be showing you little pieces of famous logos and you'll have to recognize them. Let's check how attentive you are. Here's the first one for you. Any guesses? It's Tiso, a watch brand. Do you recognize it? That's ACDC, a music band. What are your thoughts? This is CeraVe. Another simple one for you, hit it. That's Xiaomi. Can you recognize what this is? McLaren, a British automotive manufacturer. They produce supercars. Okay, this one's easy. I'm sure you can recognize it. It's everyone's favorite, Pringles. Okay, this one shouldn't be too hard either. Let's see if you get it. Even if you think you don't know it, you do. It's Minecraft. How about this one? I hope you've recognized the Nintendo Switch logo. Everyone loves them, so what are they? Of course, these are nerds! Okay, this one's harder. What do you say? That's the Washington Post, a daily newspaper. Another brand you likely know. That's Arizona. Okay, it's something famous, and I wonder if you'll recognize it. What do you say? See, it's Bank of America. That seems impossible. But let's see how good you are with Mission Impossible. What do you think? If you got it right, you're either a genius with photographic memory 
or consume alarming amounts of Schweppes every day. Okay, another little piece for you. Can you recognize it? That's Chester's. What a cutie! What do you say? Yeah, of course, it's goldfish. All right, let's see how good you are at remembering details. Take a close look at the images. After 7 seconds, one element will be gone. Your task is to name it. You get one point for each correct answer. Let's start with an easy one to warm up your brain. Just a peaceful alpine landscape interrupted by a speed train. Okay, I hope you had enough time to remember it in detail. What is missing now? The bottom of the girl's staff is gone, so I guess it's useless now. Moving on. Two noble knights are trying to win over the princess's heart. I don't know who's going to win, but I'm sure something is missing in this image. Oh no, the princess has lost her beautiful tiara. Next. Looks like a typical day at some startup's office. Sure, they wouldn't mind some changes. And there you go! One of the plants is missing. Now they can just use it as another coffee mug. How about this one? This bus must be headed to that startup's office from the previous picture. Now, what's the difference between the two images? One of the girls is missing glasses. Did you notice it? These guys must be having a heck of a time. What if we change something here? Voila! What's missing? Mmm, it's a tricky one. Looks like some of the ports on the back of the TV set are now missing. I wonder if they can still play their games without those. I'm feeling hungry. Time to go grocery shopping. So many things to choose from. And now one of them is gone. I know, I know. A milk carton on the top shelf went missing. Must have landed in someone's shopping cart. Three friends went on a safari. They saw some rhinos, hippos, and whatnot. And then, in the blink of an eye, something was different about that African landscape. Do you see it? One of the guys has lost his travel mat. A hippo will definitely take good care of it. Something's always going on at the airport. One second, and it's all different. The guy in the back should have kept an eye on his belongings. His briefcase is gone. Buying flowers for someone you love is always a good idea. This little shop has an impressive choice, but that might be about to change. Whoa, I was looking at the flowers, but the missing detail here is one of the bricks. Surprise, surprise! That's one happy girl. Looks like she just finished decorating her apartment. It looks perfect. Except one detail is missing now. Hmm. It's the middle line on one of the vases. That moment you arrive at college on your classy new motorbike, nothing can possibly go wrong. Well, it did as one item is missing in this image. Can you tell what it is?
It's the clock. A good excuse for being late to class. All aboard the pirate ship, the oceans are awaiting. Aye, but first, let's find one detail that's missing here. Arr, that was a tricky one. Jolly Roger is definitely missing here, and a pirate is not a pirate without it. The hat is called a tricorn, by the way. <laughs> Let's move from a pirate ship back to big city life. The passengers are all going somewhere, and who knows what's going to happen the next moment. Can you tell what's different now? Found it! The girl's backpack is missing a handle. That's one lucky guy! Looks like he got the golden ticket! Oops, and now something is missing here. Hope it's not the lucky golden ticket! It's the minute hand on that wall clock in the back. Did you spot it? I'm getting hungry, again! Hope this guy can help me out with some pasta or whatever he's cooking out there. Except, something is off here now. I hope it doesn't slow down the cooking process. Yep, one of the tomatoes is missing. Gotta find it and put it back. Now, let's spice things up a bit. You'll be looking for two missing details in every image, not one. Someone has a car to fix at this auto repair shop. Try to remember every detail. It's the little things that matter. And now, can you find two details that are missing? It's the red cap on the canister and one of the crosses on the chalkboard. Moving on to the next image. Just a typical classroom, where not every student is equally excited about what's going on. Now, what's missing here? The guy in the red hoodie won't write much without a pencil. And the girl in the back has a new hairstyle now. Her ponytail is gone. Everybody has their idea of a perfect morning. See that guy sleeping right on the lawn? Eh, That would be me. But everything is about to change here. And voila! Two things are missing. Can you name them? One of the balls is now missing, as well as that tower on top of one of the skyscrapers. Ready for the next one? Looks like this guy has just inherited a good amount of money. But what is this mess all about? Anyway, your task is to find the two missing pieces of this puzzle. The bottle that used to be right here on the bookshelf is gone. And one of the spots on the window followed it. It looks better now. Time for another one! This couple must be headed home for the weekend while their less fortunate colleague has to stay in the office. They're waving goodbye to him and two details that were in the picture. One of the notes is gone. And the lucky guy just lost some blush off of his cheek. Did you notice that? This guy sure has a lot of books to read. 3, 2, 1, and something is gone. I knew it! It was the book right here and this whole pile on the top shelf. This image seems peaceful and simple, but just wait. Are you sure something has changed? It looks exactly the same to me. Oh, right! I can see that the horse is missing its plow, and the tree has lost most of its leaves. 
I gotta admit, things are getting trickier and trickier. Your new task is to find three missing objects. Looks like these guys can't decide who has to clean up today. Let's see if moving things around a bit can help them. So, the note on the fridge is missing, the bucket no longer casts a shadow, and the dishwashing liquid is gone. These ladies seem so sweet. Can you help them find three missing elements in their portrait? Well, you can't pour any water out of this watering can. And one of the ladies has lost two elements of her adorable smile. The mountains are calling, and I must go. But before I join this guy, you gotta name the three things missing in this new image. There are no more knots on the backpack, and the guy has lost his bangs. And look at that mountaintop, it's completely different now. I can't tell if they're playing some game or trying to catch a bat in their backyard. Anyway, the task remains the same for you. Only the most attentive of you must have noticed the glass is now empty. One door is missing a handle, and the plant right here is missing one of its leaves. Want to go horse riding? Oh no, things are all messed up now. Can you bring them back to normal? The horse is missing a part of its bridle. One of the apples must have fallen off the tree. And that tiny window in the back is gone. Congrats! You've reached the champion's level! You'll see images moving on the screen. Your task will be to name one detail that's off. Let's start with an easy one. It seems perfectly normal, but there must be something wrong here. Ah, there's no river on the other side of the bridge. Next, please. Hmm, I know, the wind can't be blowing in different directions. What about this one? So many details to consider. I hope you notice what's wrong here. The traffic light has no red. Must be pretty chaotic out there. And another one for you to figure out. This street doesn't look nearly as busy as the previous one. This one seems just fine to me. Can you tell what's not okay in this image? There can't be two suns in the sky. So, if you got over 20 points, you have an incredibly sharp eye. You could start a career as a detective, unless you already have one. If you've got 10 to 20 points, your visual memory is better than that of most people. You're attentive to details, and it helps you a lot. If you got less than 10 points, you tend to see the big picture rather than the little things. If it worries you, try solving more visual riddles.